You see this? You see this? Word on the street is Kylie Ray trains the bums that decide to come here every week. So let's take a look and see what they're doing in here. Follow me, come on. Look at this. This place is filthy. Look at this. They have a trash can right here. It's disgusting. This is where you work, Kylie? Pathetic. You know what? Yeah. Check this out. Just to prove a point, I'm going to challenge a couple of your students. That's right. Not just one, but two to a match right now. Hey, 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 cut it out, cut it out. I'm challenging two of you to a match right now. Uh, not you, you're too big. I want the small one and uh, that one. All right. You, you wrap it up. Ready? Let's go. I didn't hear no bell. Get back to your corner. Oh, you see that, Kylie? Now, if I'm looking back, I'm no mathematician, but we are one and one. That means there has to be round three. And I am challenging you, two out of three falls at freelance wrestling, don't look under the ring. Please show up. Don't cower out. I will be there, so will my black belt, and so will my fanny pack. So see you then. And he got caught! Yeah, he got caught the first the time. Why didn't, he, why didn't he try it again? Oh! Edumatic! Wait a second! That's a Rudomatic! Sammy Gates just stole my move! You dirty son of a bitch! Latrell's on the canvas! Gage is on the canvas! He stole my move that I stole from that. Look, Xavier Gage is desperate, he did what he had to do. But what yeah, is it? Stealing my move. Is it because it just goes to show nobody can do what Trevor Outlaw can do on this microphone, in that ring, on commentary. It doesn't matter where I'm Coda at. and Sky are in the ring. Xavier Scott looking to land some forearms. Dust the line. I will say about Xavier Sky though, he does have some really quality stitching on his gear. That's the only redeemable quality that he has. Roundhouse kick on Darius Luttrell. Cutter! Cartwheel cutter. Ball left hard. And Coda Hernandez, we talked about. That was way too close for my life. We talked about the amount of adversity he's been able to overcome in his life. You saw, you saw the exhibit right there. Yeah. Ain't nobody gonna keep Coda Hernandez now. No, it wasn't. The crowd chanting that was three? No, absolutely not. It looks like sky's the limit. Trying to implement more tag team offense. Darius Luttrell, though. A no, this time a right <laughs> hog. Launch Unfortunately, I've been in that position before. It's not fun. Oh, Darius, Darius Luttrell's an absolute way. Into the Fine buster! buster! God, I love when he does that. Ankle picked out, pick and pop. Spinning brain buster. Love it. The snap on it, just fantastic. Yeah, get his ass out of here. Bye bye, young boy. Saban Gage has now been isolated. Carter Hernandez looking for that superplex, but I think Darius Luttrell is going to add some spice to it. Oh no, though. Coda knocked over Luttrell. Gage and Coda on the top rope. Fighting, landing shots. It's a precarious position in what has to be a crew juncture oh, of this contest. That's not a fun call. That just sucks the wind out of you. Gage might be looking for that double stomp. Hold on. Let's try. Darius has got the shank. He did have the shank. Gage missed. Oh, Soccer rocks. There was a foreign object in those socks. That Coda Hernandez just gave Oh my god! To knock out Saban. One, this two, is not good. Three. Damage. Coda Hernandez just got the job done. Vatos Locos for life, baby. Vatos Locos. My boy, we did it. We finally proved to him. We told them we're here to collect our respect. That's exactly what we collected. Those young bloods had no idea what was coming to them. We got that respect. Wasn't even ready. They weren't even ready for it. They weren't even ready for it. What you looking at? Talking to me? Yeah, talking to you. You got a problem? Oh, I'm sorry. 
What I'm looking at is a couple of guys who could have actually won this match fair and square without using dirty tactics. What do you say to me? What do you say to me? What you talking about, old head? Huh? It's a new generation. You start it's in the 90s right? anymore. <laughs> okay. That's how you want to play this? Because you know what? Y'all got a whole lot of potential. If you can get your head out your ass. Trust me, you need to learn from somebody who's been around the block. Oh, them fighting words. You know me, them fighting words right there, bro. You don't talk something like that. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Look, it's not something worth me, but this is not what we're doing right now. All right? You, you already know our history. This, this is not the time for this conversation. Okay? So you have not even begun to start making history, man. Look, man, you, you, look at you. You're about what, 6'10", 6 6'11"? 6 and look at what y'all blowing yourselves to. Weapons that you didn't even need. Y'all got the skill, man. Wake up, man. You know what? You could really use somebody like me. I'm just all for knowledge, man. Someone like him. Someone like him? Hey, hey. Come on, man. Like, hey. Come on, man. Hey, I've been around the block. You've barely been around in the crib. I run the block. Hey, we heard you, I man. run the block, heard, baby. Heard. Remember that. Yeah, okay. We'll see. See ya, Grandpa. See ya, grandson. Poppy putting in the punishment. Ruining Trap-Tember by Trevor Outlaw. Ooh. Tried to ruin Matt Nix's birthday last November. Turnabout is fair, fair play, isn't it? Is that Olsen? Is the Grimace over there? Oh, yes, it is. That was Olsen. Freelance Classics. Wow. Get, what do you want? Why are you in my face? Why don't you go try to get it with one of these young boys that don't know how to talk? I went out there. It was supposed to be... Oh, it was supposed to be my night. I waited a year to come back in this ring, and Mad Nick keeps taking and taking and taking. Well, next month, you son of a bitch, I'm going to take everything and... Get out! Why is he here? Why is he here, KML? I don't want Craig Mitchell here. He might be called the Midwest bully, but Craig Mitchell certainly doesn't like seeing the bullying display from Russo and Monix. Take this backyard piece of shit out, Pat. Take him out. As you see him brandishing a title that Craig Mitchell actually earned, a former freelance underground champion. A lot can happen in six months, Freelance. Coming off the heels of this injury, and I can finally stand on my own two legs again, I am back. God damn am I back. And a lot has changed. It seems, Pat, you might have forgot where you came from. It was people like me who paved the way around here for people like you to come in. And now you're gonna be the one to come in and disrespect everything? I used to be like you, Pat. I used to be like you, and then, I started to change, I started to realize, I started to be a better person, be a better professional. And what I've seen tonight, I can't stand for that. 
I think things need to change around here, Pat. I think you need to learn how to respect people like me and people in this locker room. And I think I'm gonna be the one to show you that. <laughs> Never in doubt. Robert Ego Anthony and FTC Frank the Clown, we always have a plan. And yes, we are now into our second championship run. <laughs> because again, our second run was never in doubt. Storm Grayson, oh, what a shame. You had a rough month last month, buddy. Hate to see that. Man, and you had your one chance and you blew it. Oh, man, what a shame. And you could scratch and you can claw your way back to the top as hard as much as you want, but you'll never reach the mountaintop again because Robert Ego Anthony operates on a whole other level than everybody at Freelance Wrestling. For so long now, we have ruled this place. And our rule <laughs> will never end. <laughs> Let me enjoy my Mindy's Bakery. <laughs>